right here at the Martin Museum in Nazareth, Pennsylvania. I came out here for Maury's Music to check out this amazing new Martin guitar. This is the DSS Hops and Barley Limited Edition. Tim Teal, the head of instrument design, went all out to design this guitar. It has beautiful back and sides made from highly flamed American black walnut. And the top is rare Sinker Redwood from the Pacific Northwest, Northern California, to be precise. It was underwater for a, a great deal of time, uh, soaked up a lot of mineral content, much denser piece of uh, redwood than something uh, straight off of a tree. And the combination of tone of the walnut and the redwood is just so unique with this really warm, round, glowing wound string sound and really sparkly, glittery, precise trebles, just really beautiful. And similar to the wood, this very warm, wonderful looking rosewood, redwood with this very subtle blush top, a very subtle toasted burst, uh, Tim's calling it. Style 42 pearl around the edge of the top and around the fredensula, as I like to call it and the sound hole, exquisite inlays of barley and hops that are, of course, uh, very traditional crops. Of course, they use them in the brewing industry, but also to make bread, to make uh, tea, soups, all kinds of stuff, very wholesome uh, grains. Uh, it was sort of inspired by the arts and crafts movement. Some of you may remember the special arts and crafts models Martin made that were inspired by the arts and crafts uh, art movement that started in England in the 1800s and, and spread around the world and became very popular in America in the early 20th century. Flamed European maple binding, a wonderful genuine mahogany, one piece high performance neck with that modified low oval profile and the high performance taper. So you have one and three quarter inch out here by the nut where your wrist is at its most awkward and needs a little room but it's two and an eighth inch up here, like other modern guitars, very sleek up here, so very uh, good for modern music. Uh, no uh, volute on the back, so it's similar to a style 18 neck. Very interesting butter bean, uh, notched butter bean tuners that look uh, very vintage-like. And of course, the beautiful headstock inlay, the beautiful inlay on the bridge. High glue construction throughout scalloped Adirondack spruce bracing to support that softer rosewood top. Um, just a magnificent uh, piece of work. Uh, I love the detail, like having the flame maple binding, but on the heel cap, they actually use, use a little piece of bird side maple, bird's eye maple, so every little detail. Abalone side buttons that reflect stage light very well. Um, it is, in fact, a bound neck but it doesn't look, it's a dark binding on the neck. Uh, so I thought that was a really nice touch, but no fret ends. Very upscale guitar, liquid metal bridge pins. Liquid metal is actually, molecularly speaking, a type of metallic glass, meaning that the uh, molecules are all in uh, a very a particular alignment similar to glass. And what it does is it, Keeps, uh, from absorbing, keeps it from absorbing energy. It has no dampening as energy from the strings moves past those bridge plates that are holding the strings in place. There's virtually no energy loss. So more of that string energy gets, it, gets into the bridge plate and out into the scallop braces and out uh, into the room. The biggest benefit of liquid metal is you get really nice fundamental sustain, the actual note stays out longer before it starts to decay, and you also get uh, super sustain really across the whole voice. So uh, beautiful guitar, wonderful classic dreadnought, a uh, unique voice for a Martin guitar. Uh, anybody who's familiar with the uh, rare walnut Martin dreadnoughts have still have never heard anything quite like this. And I think if you're looking 
for an exquisite limited edition Martin Dreadnought that is going to be different than your rosewood and your mahogany and your coa dreadnoughts. This is, uh, it's so good that multiple employees at the factory keep going to Tim and said, saying, could you possibly use this wood to make a, a less expensive guitar? Because we really love how it sounds. <laughs> and I don't blame them, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think they have a limited number of sets. And uh, please give Maury a call, because Maury's music is going to get maybe one of these, and you have to get to the front of the line if you want to get it. So listen to this and see for yourself. 